The changer coin purse is very easy to make. It's very useful and will last for a long, long time. Included in this kit is pre-cut, pre-punched tooling leather parts, a zipper that's already stitched in place for easy assembly, wax thread for sewing it together, a needle, and instructions on how to assemble it. If you would like to do tooling on your change purse, first thing we need to do is dampen the leather with clean water. And I can do that to both pieces at this time, or I could do them one at a time. After applying our water, we can sit it aside for a few moments until the water penetrates and the leather begins to turn back to its natural color. I have allowed my leather to dry until it's uh, beginning to return to its natural color, so now I can do my tooling. I have decided to stamp a, uh, a nice border on here with a camouflage tool. I have stamped the name of my camp on one side and now I would like to do my initials on the other side. So I will stamp that with an alphabet stamp, making sure that I get it uh, stamped well into both sides and now I'll take the other initial place it here and notice that I rotate as I stamp and I can re-register it and get a little deeper. I have allowed my leather to dry and now I can apply some finish. I'm going to use the highlight color stain in the chestnut brown color. I will first apply a liberal coat of it with a dauber, making sure that I get down in all of the impressions where I have stamped with my leather tools and the alphabet stamp. And then I will immediately take a white paper towel that I have folded into a pad and I will wipe and as you can see, it adds a nice color and also makes our stamping stand out in bold relief. And I will do this to both sides. To stitch the two parts together, start by coming out from between the layers of leather with your thread as you see me doing here. Then go down through the next hole, making sure that you go through both of the layers of leather. Leave about three or four inches for tying off later, then go through the next hole. Go through the next hole and we'll go in and out, as you see me doing here, all the way to the other side. When you reach the other end, go through the last hole and then go back one hole and come up through as you can see. Then I'll go down through the next hole
And as you can see now, the thread closes up. So I will now go in and out all the way back to where we started. When we get back to where we started, we go in that last hole and we come out between the layers of the leather. So now I will tie a knot and pull it down between the two layers of leather where it will be hidden. And now I can just Clip it off with the shears and our pouch is finished.